Welcome to another episode of Web Scraping Workshop with WebHarvey. In this episode, we will see how WebHarvey can be used to anonymously scrape data from websites. So, whenever you are extracting large amounts of data from websites, the website can actually track parts of your identity like your location, your computer's IP address, etc. And if you are extracting larger amounts of data continuously, then the website can decide whether to block you or not. Now, not all websites will block you when you mine data using a software bot, but there are some websites which blocks your IP after a certain limit. And when that happens, uh, you won't be able to access the pages displayed by those websites for some amount of time and your mining sessions will get aborted and you will be left with an incomplete set of data. Now in this video we will see how WebHarvey can be configured such that this can be avoided or if it happens how you can continue mining data by overcoming the IP block. Now we have a page in our website called anonymously scribe data from websites you can get the link from the start page itself and it discusses the methods which you can use. A simple method which you can use uh, other than using proxy servers is to go to the settings window of WebHavi and under minor tab there is an option called inject pauses during mining and what this feature lets you is it helps the miner to take pauses at specified intervals so that the web requests to the remote web server are not continuous. There is also an option called add run random pauses and this is mainly aimed at making the remote website believe that uh, the requests are coming from a human, a normal user rather than from a bot. Now you can try these options while mining and if that does not help, the best option is to use proxy servers. Now, again, if you go to the help section of the WebHarvey website, and we have this article called Scrape via Proxy Servers, which explains how WebHarvey can be configured to scrape data via proxy servers. Now, a proxy server, from a user's perspective, is just an IP address and a port number which you can input in your web scraping software or you can also input it generally in Windows as a setting and when this is done all the requests which your system makes which your computer makes to a website does not directly grow from your computer to the website it instead goes to the proxy server first and from the proxy server it goes to the remote website so the website does not know your IP the website sees that the request comes from a proxy server. There are proxy servers which employ different paths to the website. So the website sees each request from a different IP address. Now your identity is hidden in this case. You will remain anonymous because the website does not see your IP. Now this is the best method which is employed to scrape data anonymously. And we will see how this can be set up within WebHarvey. Again, if you go to WebHarvey, take the settings and go to proxy settings, you should enable the network connection via proxy server option. And then you can add proxy servers using this form here. You should enter the address, the port number, and if the proxy server requires authentication, enter the username and password and click the plus button. And then the added proxy server will come up in the list. And then WebHarvey during mining will use this proxy server to make requests and you will remain anonymous. You can also import a list of uh, proxy servers from a file which many proxy server providers give you. And you also have the option to rotate these proxies so that WebHarvey will use a different proxy after a specified interval of time. Now we will see how proxy servers work. I have added the proxy server in settings and I have also loaded a sample configuration which also scrapes the location and the IP address which the website sees. So I have I am using proxy servers for this mining just like I showed in 
uh, the settings before and I've started mining using a configuration and let's see the data. As you can see the configuration also displays the IP address, the city and the country from which the request is coming. So as you can see the IP address which the remote website sees is different for different requests. The location is also different and this shows that the proxy server is working. Now proxy servers can also be set system wide within Windows. So all software and browsers which you use will be using it. So for that just to go to the start uh, menu and type proxy where you can see the change proxy settings option click on it and you can see the manual proxy setup option turn it on and provide the IP address and port number here and just save now that will set uh, the proxy server system wide and we also have a page in our website which shows uh, the different recommended providers from which you can get proxy servers of course you can perform a general Google search for proxy server providers and there are various options and if you want to know our recommended services you can go to this page which uh, the link will be shared in the description below and you can see various companies which we have personally tested with Webhavi and works well. So if you have any questions feel free to contact or support and we hope that you find this video useful. Thank you.